Oh boy, I get visitors again! Hello, and welcome back to the wonderful world of Pokémon! If there's any of you that are just joining in, my name is Professor Timber, and I'm here to make sure you're all up to date on what's been happening in this crazy world of ours, where Pokémon have been mentally changed to speak and think as humans do. Now, last time, after collecting their loot from the hug base, Captain Carp, in his generosity, gave his share of the loot to the gym leaders they'd freed and set them loose to frolic in their freedom. Our trainers then set flight to the nearby town of Twitchtown to heal up, and found President Origin himself waiting there for them. He wanted to follow up on the message he'd sent them the day prior, once again inviting the group to join forces and hand over Dr. Britannia so they can complete their project and be able to evolve humans. He also revealed that the captain not only avoids paying taxes, no, but also never legally changed his name to Carp. So instead, the president referred to him by his legal name, Captain Park. Oh, for shame. As the tense conversation went on, it was revealed that President Origin had been using those sentenced to life in jail as test subjects, and that Arbor's father was one of those subjects. Appalled by the President's morality, or lack of thereof, the group decided against teaming up with him, at which point an Alakazam appeared to fetch the President, and cops swarmed the scene. Quickly, our trainers mounted their flying Pokémon and ran away with haste. From there, our trainers split ways to go find new Pokémon to befriend. Arbor fled to the Fey Forest, where she had a heart-to-heart -heart with Sephira. As she poured out her emotions and thoughts, she attracted the attention of a young Peep, who began to talk to her and comfort her. However, it turned out this was for an ulterior motive, as Peep actually feed off of people's emotions. Remarkably, this emotional feeding is quite similar to a girl I knew in high school. <laughs> Meanwhile, Captain Carp made way to the nearest ocean shore and rode out to catch various fish Pokemon. However, his haul of fish could have been better. Elsewhere, Baron Von Baron put the fear of death ironically, into a ghost he found in a graveyard, who then helped him hunt down and capture a Mimikyu for his party. And lastly, Mimic rode alone into the tundra in search of a Mr. Rhyme. As he went along, he once again ran into Big Whooper and Medium Machoke, a pair of traveling merchants our trainers had maybe kind of scammed before. Minnick apologized to the pair and gave them extra funds to make up for the losses the pair experienced. In light of his kindness, they then helped Minnick to find a Mr. Rhyme, which Minnick swiftly caught and added to his party. After each of our trainers finished their poke catching, they reconvened by the Temple of Snart and set up camp for the night. Will our trainers be able to save Snart from those who've kidnapped him in his own house? Let's watch and see, shall we? <laughs> see you this time next week, or whenever. Time is weird in here. Until next time. <laughs>